Shelter of the Heart by Zachary Steele Chapter 1 The soles of Sam Bennett's worn sneakers scraped against the cracked sidewalk as he shuffled along the bustling streets of West Hollywood. His shoulders hunched forward, hands shoved deep into the pouch of his frayed hoodie. Fatigue lined his face, etched beneath eyes that still flickered with a faint spark of determination. The once vibrant blue of his irises seemed dulled by the weight of his circumstances, yet they remained watchful, taking in the world around him with an artist's eye for detail. The city thrummed with life around him, distant laughter, the blare of car horns, indistinct chatter melding into a soundtrack of organized chaos. Sam was just another face in the crowd, invisible amidst the neon-bathed sidewalks and storefronts. He felt the familiar pang of loneliness, a constant companion since he'd found himself on these streets. Flashing signs advertising bars, clubs, and trendy eateries cast kaleidoscopic shadows that danced across the pavement. Groups of well-dressed people flooded in and out of these establishments, oblivious to Sam's presence as they laughed and clinked glasses. He couldn't help but remember a time when he, too, had been part of that carefree world before life had taken its unexpected turns. He paused before a shop window, taking in his own haggard reflection. Dirty blonde hair stuck up in tufts, his cheekbones hollow and eyes ringed with dark circles. The cacophony around him seemed to muffle as Sam studied the ghostly figure staring back, a stark contrast to the polished visages hurrying past. He barely recognized himself anymore the person in the glass a far cry from the aspiring artist who had arrived in West Hollywood with dreams of making it big. With a shuddering breath, he tugged the thin fabric of his hoodie tighter against the night's chill. Gloved fingers brushed over the worn cotton, nails catching on loose threads. Sam's gaze flickered to a nearby couple sharing a steaming mug, their free hands intertwined. A pang of longing twisted in his chest before he forced his eyes away and trudged onward. He couldn't remember the last time he'd felt the warmth of human touch that wasn't tinged with desperation or transaction. The rhythmic sound of his footsteps carried Sam past a high-end boutique, the immaculately dressed mannequins in the window showcasing a life of luxury he could hardly fathom. A burst of raucous laughter from a departing group of bar patrons made his shoulders tense. He quickened his pace, feeling exposed and vulnerable under the harsh glare of the streetlights. Desperate for a moment's respite, Sam veered into a dim alleyway just off the main drag. He sagged against the cool brick, letting his eyes fall shut as he focused on evening out his ragged breaths. In the shadowed quiet, memories flickered behind his eyelids. The smell of paint and turpentine, the feel of a brush between his fingers, the satisfaction of bringing a blank canvas to life, these sensations felt like echoes from another lifetime. West Hollywood once symbolized hope and reinvention when he first arrived. A fresh start, a chance to shed his past and pursue his passion for art. Flashes of himself sketching in the park, laughing over coffee with friends, filled his mind's eye. So much had changed, that bright-eyed optimism gradually eroded by a current of misfortune. Job losses, evictions, and a string of bad decisions had led him here, to this moment of quiet desperation in a grimy alley. A wailing siren ripped Sam from his reverie. He flinched, gaze snapping to a homeless figure digging through a nearby trash can with desperate urgency. Reality solidified around him once more, that weight settling back onto his shoulders. He felt a kinship with the stranger, recognizing the same hunger and desperation that often drove his own actions. With a weary sigh, Sam pushed off from the wall and made his way back onto the main sidewalks. He stuck to the outskirts, shoulders hunched as he navigated past crowded patios and well-lit windows. The occasional kind soul offered a few bills or a half-eaten snack, which he accepted with a mumbled thanks and averted eyes. Each act of charity was a double-edged sword, providing momentary relief while simultaneously reminding him of how far he'd fallen. Finally, Sam reached his usual refuge, a dingy alcove behind a local coffee shop. As the sounds of the city faded to a dull thrum, he hunkered down with his meager belongings, cocooning himself in the ratty hoodie. 
Tucking his feet beneath him, Sam's eyes slipped shut, neon light still flickering through his lashes. He tried to ignore the hard concrete beneath him, focusing instead on the faint aroma of coffee that wafted from the nearby dumpster.